Still fry the size. Still fry. Fry. Not if you do it, still not. Kids, I'm Phil Fry, the science guy. And today, we're going to talk about... <laughs> ah! Oh, what's going on? Who are you? Well, what are you doing in my studio? I'm Josh Bilmer. What are you doing? This is my studio. This is not your studio. It's my studio. Wait, ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm here to talk about Hi, theory. I'm now. I'm gonna kill this thing. Ah. Bob! Well, well, yeah, this is homotheria. And this is where the vampires come out. That's what mostly homotheria is mistaken for. Vampires. Where's Bill Fry? Kids on Phil Fry. Where did my clothes go? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go get security. Security! And this is my show. Go out. See you later. Theria is a disorder in which the body produces too much of the chemical profrin. Profrin is used to make hem a part in blood that carries oxygen. Hem is also gives blood its color. Any circulating profin is the blood. Doesn't use is excreted in the urine and stool. When the body produces and excretes too much profin as happens with profin, not enough hem remains to keep a person healthy. Prophyria affects either the nervous system or the skin. What? Ah! I'm Phil Fry, the science guy. Oh! Oh! I thought security. Ah! Yeah. Heart clots. Prophyria affects the skin. Blisters, itching, swelling, and sensitivity to the sun can result. Prophyria is inherited. Is an inherited condition. Tax of the disease can be triggered by drugs and a lot of big words birth control pills but we're gonna be serious this time called certain foods and exposure to the sun or light as some like to say porphyria is diagnosed through tests on blood urine and stool it can be treated with medications to relieve symptoms a drug called hemine which is like heme or high carbohydrate diet. Did you know that? 